widespread technology outage has been traced back to a faulty software update from cybersecurity agency CrowdStrike. And that outage caused major problems with travel, businesses, and government services throughout the tri-state here. Joining us now, WCPO9 consumer reporters, John Matteris and Taylor Nemo, to explain what this means for you at home. Yeah, well, you know, Craig, we heard from people at home, saving money is important, staying safe, and that's why Taylor Nimmo is now joining me and working alongside me so we can cover more pocketbook and money issues. And Taylor, we know the financial impact of what happened today with this meltdown is going to be significant. Yeah, absolutely. You know, many times we fully rely on technology to just work, and I spoke with cybersecurity experts who highlighted what happens when it doesn't. I saw it uh, like 4.30 this morning on the news and I instantly panicked. I'm like, you know, are we under a cyber attack or like what's going on? The outage knocked banks offline, forced businesses to close and grounded flights. No, I'm glad I didn't have to have fly out anywhere because I know that's super frustrating. The incident wasn't caused by a cyber attack, rather a faulty software update pushed out by CrowdStrike, the number one leading cybersecurity company in the world. The financial impact of this outage will be significant. Imagine if they shut anybody's company down for a day, you couldn't take a credit card or anything and you lost all of that revenue. Um, the flights that are lost, the stock price went down 10% today. There's a huge financial impact on this one little bug a wake up call for many to witness firsthand when technology fails, just how much can go wrong because of it. Cybersecurity expert Jim Gast says it's important you're prepared for something like this to happen again. When we rely on mass systems that everybody uses, we always have to have in our mind what's an exit strategy, what's an alternate solution. Advice to protect your business. I always say, for all the technology that you have in place, you need a paper system. You never know when these cloud systems are gonna be available or down. So make sure that your business can still run. What you can do to prepare to keep your family safe? Always keep some cash on hand in case of emergencies. The banks could shut down. You just don't know. Credit card companies could stop working. We've seen it even at the simple drive through when you can't go through and you have to pay cash because they're their, their payment system is down. Always be prepared for that first option that always works 99% of the time. There'll be that 1% one day that you need to make sure you plan for. Now, Forbes tells me the reason some of these disruptions lasted so long was because you manually had to put hands on each computer in order to fix it. Wow, certainly one of the most widespread outages we've seen in quite some time. And as always, we want to hear from you. You can reach out to Taylor and me if there's anything we can do to help you save money. Okay. Uh, 